let me tell you something and maybe you will learn something from this. Years ago, I did some things I should have not done, bad things, and I was able to purchase quite a bit of electronics, clothes, belts, you know, stuff like that. Inside of my mind, I thought that buying so much stuff would, I guess, make me happy. I guess, in a way, fulfill me. It did not. I bought all of those things I bought all of those things, yes, and I still felt empty inside. Some people may think a boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever is going to fulfill them. How long has it been? How much shoes do you have? How much clothes do you have? How many cars, homes, or whatever do you have? And how do you feel about it? Do you feel fulfilled? Now, I am not saying I had so many cars, homes, or whatever else like that, but what I did have, I think anyone who isn't living for Jesus Christ has an empty void within them. You can try to place demons in that empty void. You can try to place Satan or material possessions in that empty void. Nothing from my experiences and what I have learned about some other people, no one can fill that empty void but Jesus Christ. So while you are chasing after money, believing that money is going to fulfill you, while you are chasing after that woman or that man, ultimately a woman or a man can't fulfill you. It was not meant to. I think so many people are trying to place people or stuff in a position where Jesus Christ should be. So, happiness doesn't come from having so much stuff, in my opinion, and from what I believe is the truth. Happiness comes from accepting Jesus Christ in your life and living by his rules. Because look, how much money do you have? You may have so much money. You may have so much stuff. You may have so many things. But how do you feel now if you aren't living for Jesus Christ? I believe your life is somewhat of a mess, probably mentally. Because if having so much stuff is like 
the best thing around, why are some rich people killing themselves? If having so many cars, homes, a large net worth is so glamorous or can really fulfill you, if that be the case, why are some rich people killing themselves? You see, you are chasing after the wrong things. There is nothing wrong with money. But if you make money your God as like your center focus, like the reason why you are alive, like you making it your primary focus, that is a problem. Look, even if you do become rich, even if you receive $500 million a year, when you die, where is that money going to go to? Those cars, those homes, your shoes, clothes, or whatever, what is going to happen to them once you die? Like, can you bring your stuff to heaven or hell? Like, Jesus, I want to bring my heater, my high heels, my weave, my coat, my laptop, Jesus, I want to bring all of my possessions to heaven. Can you do that? No. Can you bring it to hell? I don't think so. So if that be the case, find fulfillment in Jesus Christ. Why waste your life trying to make money, trying to make money, trying to make money, working so many hours in doing so. And a person may say to me, Kevin, uh, the Bible says, if you don't work, you don't eat. But the Bible also stayed in so many places to help out the poor, right? So I believe we have to look in the Bible we have to take things in context. How can I say this? Your job is not your provider. Your money doesn't provide for you. If Jesus crippled you, made it so to where you can't use your fingers, your arms, your legs, your neck, your body. If Jesus made it so to where you can't get, get any free money, how would you be able to eat or, or whatever else? I believe Jesus can use your job to give you money. I believe Jesus can do things, use something to provide for you. But ultimately, it is coming from Jesus. You may say to me, Kevin, with all that I have, I will lose everything if I don't work most of the time. What type of life is that? What type of life is that to where you have to work 12, 18 hours a day 
to maintain everything you have. Like, how can you really enjoy what you... I believe that is bondage. Even if you have millions, if you have to work so much out of the day to maintain what you have, is that really freedom? Look now, I think it is better to lose some things so that you can have more time for Jesus Christ. Even with all that you have, are you happy? Are you on depression medication now? Are you on anxiety medication now? How many people with so much stuff have mental problems? Which I am not saying we all are perfect. How, how many people? Okay. So I believe we should focus more on the spiritual than the natural. So let me stop here. God bless you.